Hello everyone. I bought a high speed spindle of AliExpress. And there is not a lot of information about this already on the internet. So I figured I might make this video here. So with this high speed spindle you apparently get a good amount of this uh, tubing, it's water cooled. I bought some uh, collets for it, which are these, I bought these but you get these with it. This I would imagine is the VFD, let's open it. All Chinese electronics. Smells like it's been burnt. Hopefully not. Everything is in Chinese. That's always a good sign. It really doesn't smell very good. This is for the control. And this down there is for um, uh, the motor and the inputs. It's the good stuff. This is the uh, spindle. Always good. I have this thing here. Doesn't feel very good to be sacrificing these uh, just for the cord, but oh well. Let's go ahead and get these wires stripped. Yeah, that's probably good enough for now. And with any luck, this should turn right on. It should appear to death. We're getting frequency zero, I believe that means. Let's disconnect this first and connect this to the spindle. Now it does say not to run it without the water, but I think just a few seconds should be fine. Hopefully. And it does not run. Oh, there it does. That is fast. Very cool. Okay, let's disconnect this and get the pump working. Hoping it does come with a cable socket. So this should then just throw it on in there, right? Water and electronics. Who doesn't love it?
Well, that's it on high speed spindle. Everything works now. Everything that's left to do is to install it on the machine and, well, use it, I guess. Now we just gotta tap these holes. All right, I got the mill head trimmed in here now with the dial indicator. It's pretty good. And we're gonna do some test cutting. Now this end mill here might be a little bit dull, so we're gonna try some other ones as well. But... These chips are just so incredibly sharp. This is at 150 hertz. I don't think I should be running it much faster than that. Let's try that. This is going extremely aggressive, but I don't think you should be really doing that. do it but the chips coming off are extremely hot and we're not getting quite the best surface finish. Let's try to cool it. That makes it any better. And where which one was for coolant? I think it was this one. It was this one. Probably. accidental shower. So this definitely looks better. Yeah, that's much better. Let's give it a bit more coolant to work with. So. VFD in the slave cover to keep it safe, but yeah. Let's take a look at the results. So with coolant, we're actually getting pretty good results. Mind you, this is a 10 millimeter end mill in this high speed spindle running at pretty low speeds in steel. This, I would say, is definitely passable. So. I give this uh, thing here a five star, definitely. I did not think it would do do that. So, thanks to you. Thank you all for watching.